hey, we have some Yankee news. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I hope you are having a stupendous day today. If you love the Yankees and you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. We're on the road to 14,000 subscribers, so if you can, please, I'm begging you, please help us get there. All right, so according to Mr. John Morosi, the New York Yankees are in fact in on top international left-handed hitting outfielder Jung Hoo Lee. Now, Lee plays in the KBO. We're going to go over his last three seasons, which were incredibly impressive. So back in 2021, Mr. Lee, in 123 games, hit 360, seven home runs, and 84 RBI. His OPS was 959. The kid also walks more than he strikes out. In that season, he had 37 strikeouts, and he drew 62 walks. In 2022, he played in 143 games. He hit 349, 23 home runs, 113 RBI with a 996 OPS. That season, he only struck out 32 times and he drew 66 walks. Last year, though, he dealt with an ankle injury, unfortunately. Last season, he played in 85 games, hit 319, six home runs, 863 OPS, Drew 49 walks and struck out 23 times in 386 plate appearances. Now, popular belief is that Lee will be okay by spring training. He's going to be all good. He'll be ready. And so they're not really too concerned about his injury issues. So we have that. Lee excites me. He has great bat to ball skills. Great bat to ball skills. It's something that the Yankees need. The Yankees also need a guy who doesn't strike out much. He fits that bill too. Now, some of you might say, Joe, he played, he played in a league that's the equivalent to the double A. Why should we be excited about that? Well, the reason why we should be excited about this is because, number one, if you had a guy down there in double A with these kind of numbers, 360 average, 349 average, 319 average, if you had a guy down there in double A with these kind of numbers, you would be begging the Yankees for him to skip triple A and to come up right now. You would be begging for it. Begging for it. If a kid down there in double A had these kind of freaking numbers. So don't come to me and don't say, oh, the KPO is the equivalent to double A. I don't want to hear it because if a kid was hitting like this down there in Somerset, you're damn right I'm going to want him up there as a New York Yankee. You're damn freaking right. The kid doesn't strike out. He strikes out, but he walks more than he strikes out. This is something that we need in this lineup. And listen, another thing. Some people I'm, I'm looking at, some people are saying, if the Yankees get Lee, they're not going to get Soto. But who's, first of all, you just made that up yourself. That's not true. If anything, if the Yankees get Lee, maybe we don't get Bellinger. That's what it might be. But listen, Bellinger, Jung Hoo Lee, no one's going to stop anybody from getting Juan Soto. I can tell you that. No one on this earth is going to stop anybody if they have a chance to get Juan Soto. No one's going to stop them. No player is going to stop them. Juan Soto is an elite talent. You get these players to play with Juan Soto, not one or the other. So if, if anything, Jung, it would be Jung Hoo Lee or Cody Bellinger, not Jung Hoo Lee and Juan freaking Soto. That doesn't make any sense. So listen. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out. And to all of our channel members here at The Shift, thank you guys. It means a lot.